Jen here too, it's Miss Hutt here and today I'm going to be walking through you through your English. Now today's English actually spreads over two days, it's today and tomorrow, just because you've got two things to do. So, your task at the moment, so last week you had a go at retelling the story of Meerkat Mail without including any postcards. So you should have just written the story and if you haven't, how to check back to last week's activities and the how-to guide that are on the YouTube channel. If you have, then you are ready to do the activities today and tomorrow. Now, on your story map, you should have added two new places for Sunny to go and visit. So for mine, he went to visit the pyramids in Egypt and he went to Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, what you have to do today and tomorrow is to write a postcard for both of your new places. I would spread it out so you do one today and one tomorrow, just to make it a bit easier. You might want to look back at the criteria, so our success criteria that we used before. If you don't have it, then I actually have it on the next slide for you to check. So we've got commas in a list, apostrophes for possession, apostrophes for contraction, so our contracted words, adjectives and noun phrases, and an exclamation mark. I'm going to go over this in a little bit more detail in a second. Now here's an example that I have done. And it's this one here. And I've chosen to do Sonny's visit to the pyramids in Egypt. I'm just going to read it through. And then I've actually got my success criteria here. I call it my star list. I thought if I managed to get them all in, I can give myself a bit of a gold star. So I've got my star list of all the things we can try to include in our postcard. And because it's an informal piece of writing, so it's communicating between Sonny and his family, it's really important we add in all those extra bits of detail because it helps them to imagine where Sonny's been and what he's seen. So for a party postcard, make sure you've got the address. Now, you might want to use the address that I've been given here, or you might want to make up your own one, but think about where Sonny's family are living. So they're obviously down the Kalahari Desert, which is why I've made sure I've put it here. Okay? Now, make sure we start off with who you're writing to. Now, I could put to everyone. You might want to put to mum and dad or to... Sally, whoever Sonny wants to write to. Now let's have a look. It says, I'm in a very hot, dry place called Egypt to see Sally and Susan. And you should have written who he's going to see on your story maps. I have eaten cool ice cream, visited the giant pyramids, and even saw some strange creatures called camels. Remember, Sonny probably never seen a camel before because he lives somewhere else in Africa. They were very grumpy and they didn't want to bathe. I wonder if they were too hot. I miss you all and hope you found Eric's camera from Sunny. So now I'm just going to go through, this is my example of my postcard. I'm just going to go through my star list to see what I've been able to find. So first up, commas in a list. So this is listing items, maybe places that he's visited, things that he's done. So let's have a look. To everyone, I'm in a very hot, dry place called Egypt to see Sally and Susan. I have eaten cool ice cream, visited the giant pyramids, and even saw some strange creatures called camels. We've got my comma here because this is what he's done. He's eaten ice cream, visited the pyramids, and seen some camels. So there's my comma in a list. So I've got a comma here, and then between the last two things, the pyramids and the creatures, we put an and, you don't need to put a comma there because that and is telling you that's the last bit is coming up in the list. So I can tick that off my star list. Yes. Next one, apostrophe for, for possession. Ooh, try saying that fast. Apostrophe for possession. Now it's to tell us that someone owns something. So a noun owns another noun. I wonder if you can spot it already. Clue, it's towards the end of the postcard. Can you see it? I miss you all and hope you found Eric's camera. Now have a look. There's two apostrophes in here, but one of them is for possession. Can you guess which one? Eric's camera. Let's put that one in. Because obviously they've been writing postcards to and from each other. So I hope you found Eric's camera. So I can take off apostrophe for possession. Yes, that's two. Next one is contractions. Well, there's quite a few in here. So contractions are your words that you've reduced down to make one word. So let's have a look. To everyone, I'm, there's one there, instead of I am, I'm, bit of informal language there, in a very hot, dry place called Egypt to see Sally and Susan. I have eaten cool ice cream, visited the giant pyramids, and even saw 
were some strange creatures called camels. They were very clumpy, and I didn't, no, did not, didn't want to play. I wonder if they were too hot. I miss you all, and hope you've, instead of you her, you've found Eric's camera. I can give that a tick. Oh, I'm doing really well on my list. Adjectives and noun phrases. I think there are a few in here. I'm not, I'm not going to find them all, but I wonder if you can find them. So remember, an adjective is a describing word, and a noun phrase is two or more adjectives used in a sentence. So let's have a look. I'm in a very hot, dry place. Well, we've got hot and dry to tell us that's where he is. So hot and dry place, there's some, that's a noun phrase, so there's two adjectives there. Called in Egypt to see Sally and Susan. I have eaten cool ice cream, visited the giant pyramids, and even saw some strange creatures called camels. So you can see I've really started using quite a lot of adjectives and I think this is a really important one to include in your writing because it helps whoever's reading your work know exactly what it's like where you've been. Well, I can give that a tick. And the last one is an exclamation mark. So it's like, whoa, this is a bit exciting. Can you see my exclamation mark in here? Let me stop it. It's at the top here. There's my exclamation mark. So I can tick that off. Now you might have spotted a couple of other bits in here. I've actually got some brackets and that was in our story that we looked at. Now brackets just add a little bit of extra information in, just a bit of a side note. So he's saying they were very grumpy and didn't want to play with a bit of extra information. Sonny's saying, oh, I wonder if they were too hot. So that's just him thinking out loud and I've actually got a question in here as well. So. Your task today in year two is to have a go at doing one postcard today and one postcard tomorrow. Use this to give you a bit of a guide if you need to. Use your, my star list to help you out as well. I'm gonna go and get a gold star because I've managed to include them all in. Have a lovely day, send through any work that you have done. Bye-bye.